what is the most difficult thing is that as women, when you're in a peace process, is that you want to bring to the table the issues that affect your lives and the lives of the people that you work with, violence against women, uh, uh, economic and social exclusion, issues which are relevant to the condition of lives of women. But you will be told, that's great, Ines, but not just yet. We'll do that after the revolution. We'll do that after the agreement. We'll do that after the settlement. And my advice to women, after doesn't work. The cold bottom line is that if you're a woman and you're involved in peacemaking, don't settle for being patted on the head. Require the issues that affect the people you represent to be heard at the table. If you're told that that is grand, but not just yet, you say politely, but firmly and stubbornly, no. Because those issues, if not addressed in the shaping of the conflict resolution and the shaping of an agreement, will be absent from any discourse for at least a decade or so afterwards.